Hello YouTube family, it's Erin with the Joy in Pens and Paper, and I have a new pen. Um, so if any of you have ordered from Venice, you know that your uh, receipt will come with this little note um, with a thank you from Mike. You are most welcome. Um, and this is a pen that I purchased as part of reaching 800 subscribers. So, without further ado, it is an Estherbrook. I have been hearing so many wonderful things from the fountain pen community about Estherbrook and the writing experience. And so I wanted to get one and try one out. Um, I have been looking at this pen for a while. Um, and so when I hit 800 subscribers, I went ahead and ordered it and I'm so excited. So it comes in this Estherbrook box. And I'm gonna take it out. And inside is this beautiful red box. It has this really soft cream felt at the end, at each end, so soft. Um, and opening it, it's an Esterbrook SD. So I did open it. I did flush this pen with some clean water. Um, it comes with a cartridge. I will not be using that cartridge. And it comes with this little cute envelope. And inside the envelope is a card with a QR code to activate your pen. I'm very intrigued by that. So I will be scanning that QR code later to see what that really means. Um, but this is the Estherbrook in sea glass. It's so pretty. Uh, let me just move this out of the way. Okay. Um, so it's an Estherbrook SD in sea glass, and I uh, chose it with the, the palladium trim. I thought that that was a really nice complementary color with the sea glass uh, versus the um, gold trim. And um, opening it, it has a little spring in, in it. My uh, my husband asked if he could look at it, so I let him open it, and he commented, oh, it has this little spring, and that's because of inside the cab, there is the um, airtight pocket that helps keep your nib nice and wet, so uh, that, is, that is true. Um, it is just under two turns to pop it on out. And here is the nib. It says Estherbrook 1958, or sorry, 1858 on the nib. And it has an F for fine. And it does come with a converter that says Estherbrook on it. And so we are going to ink this up. And I'm going to ink it up with Edelshine Moonstone. It's an ink that I really love. It's a lubricated ink, so I'm very excited to um, get this going. So here we are without any further ado. Oh, that fills really nicely. Look at that. Nice full fill. Like I said, I did flush this already. So any residual, um, anything that was in there should be flushed on out. Let me just clean this up. And I haven't written with this yet. I'm so excited. Alright, so that's inked up. Unposted, here's how it sits in my hand. 
feels very nice. It's so smooth, so smooth. The celluloid resin is absolutely beautiful. And let's go ahead and cap it. Um, I do have right next to me. Let me just assemble it. My Laban Rosa as a comparison. So size wise, it's a little, little bit longer than the Laban Rosa. Here's my Pelican M400 next to it. Um, and then if you look at it unposted, of course it's going to roll around all over the place. Um, it's a little bit, still a little bit longer than the Laban. Oh goodness, we're rolling all around. Let's just go with it. So it's very similar to the Pelican. M400. And I didn't bring a scale up, but weight wise, it feels pretty similar to the Pelican. Um, I do tend to post my pens just because I get nervous about losing the cap. Um, with it posted, it is a little bit long. So I'm not quite sure how I would prefer to write with it because it is a new pen for my collection. Maybe unposted. Interesting. Okay. Let's do a writing sample. So this is... Ooh. So it's an Estabrook SD in sea glass with a fine nib, and it is inked up with a with the Pelican Edelstein Moonstone. And it has a steel nib, so it's not going to flex. But if I were to put a little bit of pressure, I'm not really seeing the line variation, which I wouldn't expect, so. it and see how that feels. I like both posted and unposted. beautiful writer. This is very nice. Okay. Such a smooth nib and I really like that little bounce when you cap it and uncap it. It feels very secure and protected. Oh, 
That is a beautiful pen. It's very well made. The colors are absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful. And the branding here with that subtle white Esterbrook and script written right there. The rounded finials are beautiful. I hope that the light is catching this very well. This is absolutely beautiful. And for those of you that are looking to get an Esterbrook right now, there are 4th of July sales. So I highly recommend getting this pen on sale. I think I priced it out um, and you can get this from a couple different sites for it, it, this retails for uh, $180, I think it is. Um, and you can get it for anywhere from, you know, 10 to 20% off depending on the site. Um, I'm just so happy to have this. And with Van Ness, I find their shipping to be exceptionally quick. I am actually... Uh, filming this on the 30th and that is a Friday and I ordered this on Wednesday morning. That's how quick the shipping time was. Um, and it was originally expected to arrive on the 7th and then it came today. So that was even a greater surprise. Um, so that is my newest pen. I'm so happy to own an Estabrook, especially with all the wonderful things that I've heard. Well, thank you for watching and let me know, do you have an Estabrook and which, which color did you get or which color are you looking at? Um, they've got a number of absolutely beautiful colors. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.